b a n g k r a t you promised to tell me about the rights of humans. Sure, with pleasure. But it's a long story. Well, explain it your way. Let's start with the basics. First, I'll explain the three R's. They are rules, the rule of law, and rights. But they're all one and the same. Yes and no. These are arrangements made by people, but with different meanings. Rules are needed for any joint activity of humans. Take a game. To play any game, we've got to reach an agreement about the rules. For example, in football, you can hit not another player, but a ball. You can't have a game without rules. Only a fighting, maybe. So you often choose an independent referee who ensures that the rules are the same for everyone. Those who don't follow the rules get punished. Hey, you boys are always on about football. But isn't real life just the same? He who breaks the rules, for example, stealing other people's money, is sent to court, where a judge decides how to punish him. Hmm. A great question. Seems right in theory. But how does a judge decide what punishment is proper or not? What if he decides it's easier to simply chop off people's heads? But that's also illegal, isn't it? Exactly. Now we can talk about the rule of law. The rules applied in a state are often called the legislation. They're written in laws, the constitution, and legal codes. And a judge should sentence people according to the law and not what comes into the head. Mm. The choice is easy: either the law of force or the force of law. <laughs> um, I think I prefer the force of law. p a n k r a t So what are rights then? Rights come into play when someone promises you something and is ready to keep the promise. For example, I promise to feed you, so you got a right to eat. But I've always been able to eat. That was a possibility, not a right. If you don't catch any fish, no lunch, and no one to require it from, this way you could demand me to feed you because I promised. This is a right to eat. Clear. So our rights only given to friends. No, it's possible in case of strangers too. For example, a neighbor lets you swim in his pool, and you bring him fish. The agreement is between equal parties on mutual rights and obligations. What if they're not equal? Me, Chaggy, on one side, and on the other, Pitbull with loads of fighting robots. That means I have no rights. Why should he make any commitment? Because Pitbull's not just a bandit with robots, but an official representative of the state, which has already made special commitments to you. This is what humans' rights are. And why are these states' special commitments? They've got all the guns. Well, because a legitimate state observes agreements with its own people. And not one whose government does what comes into their heads. And if a state doesn't make a commitment to observing humans' rights, the union of civilized worlds won't allow that state to join. p a n k r a t wait a moment. We've understood all this about rules and rights, but what's a state, and where did it come from? Ah, let's talk about it another time.